How to go from zero to a full-time gaming YouTuber fast. And no, this thumbnail was actually not clickbait. Today, we're gonna to be talking to Tom, who went from zero to a full-time gaming YouTuber in a little over a year. And he's gonna reveal his story and break down exactly what he did. So you can basically just steal his formula and replicate his results. So Tom, thanks for being here. But before we get into the actual tips, can you tell us your story? Because I think it's gonna give people really important context that's gonna help them actually understand and apply that knowledge that you're about to share. I do sales and online sales, selling all different kinds of things for like two years or something. And then after a while, I myself too didn't feel like it was something for me. And I want to look for something that really catch my interest. And it's something that I can enjoy doing for a very long time. I would say it was about a month or two of constantly sitting down, thinking about uh, what I really wanted to do. And then one thing that really keeps coming back to me was the fact that I love playing video games and the fact that I want to have a community of my own. At that point, it led to me seeing that YouTube was something that I wanted to do. I was back in uh, December 2020 and then, you know, I started to hop into YouTube with everything I've got. The current game that I'm doing, which is Genshin Impact, I got into the game and then I started to think about how I'm able to provide values to the current community. At first I did post kind of like, you know, all over the place. I was like testing my content here and there, two or three videos of one type and then the next two or three videos of a different. I test that about four months. And then at that point, when I did the guides video after like a month or so, that guide video, took me from 50 views to like 15,000 views. Wow. And I know, I know it, it was gonna work. So that's why I, I kept on making guides ever since. Six or a year in, when I got into YouTube, it was really a struggle because I'd say burnout start to come in. And then there was a lot of competition in the niche that I'm doing, especially for my game. When you're starting to do your competitor research, uh, you tend to like, you know, uh, feel bad for yourself sometimes if you are not getting the views that uh, they are getting, which is something you do need to train yourself on is to do comparative research, but then don't get affected by the amounts of views that you'll get because the most important thing at the end of the day is how well you improve for yourself. So it's kind of like if you're, you yourself improve, like one step ahead of you from yesterday, that's the best thing that you can do. Like you can never compare yourself with other people and feel happy. That's the thing, which is something that I got stuck in for a lot and I got burnout. So it was a hard lesson for me to learn. But once you're able to overcome that, your growth will be a lot more consistent because you're more grounded. So, you know, you'll be able to grow a lot better from there on. That's really cool. I've heard this question a lot from people that when English isn't their first language, sometimes they have a fear that native English speakers might not take them as seriously. And I think your English is really great. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that English wasn't your first language that you learned. How did you overcome that fear or was that not a fear? And how would you recommend other people overcome it? My English wasn't that good when I first started out on YouTube. It's it's not my first language, so I do have to practice. So, you know, but my advice would be, it's just that you just keep on speaking. So if you're doing YouTube, you're probably going to be speaking on the mic in English for like, you know, at least a lot of time during the week. So, which is what led me to my English being better. It's just practice and practice. You just keep on speaking and that's it. In a sec, we're going to share your advice to the people watching. But first, do you think you were super special or do you think that anyone can kind of replicate your results and do what you're about to do if they implement the things you're about to share? I believe that any one of us, as long as you, you know, you have the right mindset, you will be able to follow this step very, very easily. And then you'll be able to do the same thing if you're serious about going into YouTube full time. That's awesome. All right, let's jump into your steps. So if you were to go back in time and have a conversation with the old you, you know, the you who was still struggling to get views and subscribers, let alone earn enough income to go full time. Um, what is the first step that you would recommend to that old Tom? So the first step I would say is to have the right mindset. What I mean by the right mindset here is you have to know very clearly the reason why. First of all, you want to do YouTube. And secondly, you will have to know clearly the reason why you want to be on YouTube full time. If you're, if you're going to YouTube full time, then you're definitely going to have decided that you'll be on the platform or main in YouTube as your work for a very long time. I don't know how long exactly, but it's going to be at least a couple of years. 
right? So it's a very big decision to make, which is why you always have to have that mental state and knowing uh, the reason why in clarity. Because when you have clarity, you will have a lot more motivation to, you know, do and go through the tough time that YouTube will, will give to you. All right. So let's assume the person watching this has a good mindset. Uh, what's the next step <laughs> you'd recommend to them? Yeah. So whenever you already have like good mindset, you can move on to the next step, which is I'd say make time for YouTube because, you know, as simple as it might sound, it might probably be the hardest thing. It's important now to find the time uh, to spare for, for YouTube, which is why it's important to have a clear reason why in step one, because once you have a clear reason why, you're now more motivated to find the time for YouTube. For me, for example, I was very motivated in terms of making my, my videos that I literally sat down from 10 p.m. all the way to 4 a.m. in the morning without even realizing it because I was editing my videos that took so long. And then I just literally passed out on my table. True story. I just really wanted to like grow my channel and then make really good videos for my audience. And I stick to it. If you're serious about it, you will just naturally, you know, find time and make time for YouTube, which is the next important step. If you really want to like start making and growing on YouTube, I would say. Let's talk about the next step. So assuming you've got the mindset down, you've made time for YouTube. What is it that you would then recommend people do? Right. So here we're speaking in terms of, you know, you're moving full time into YouTube. And I would say the next step is going to be uh, saving up your money. You should have at least six months of savings to spare for your YouTube channel. Let's say if you're not making any money during that time. And then next is, you know, achieving a thousand subscribers. Obviously, there's something we all work for uh, when we start out to YouTube because it's, you know, it is something that we help us to make money. Obviously, I'd say that's going to be another uh, video discussion in terms of getting to a thousand subscribers. Awesome advice. So we've made time for YouTube and we've just hit a thousand subscribers. What's the next step that you would recommend? I would say now is the time to, you know, start out to find collaborations. Collaboration would, wouldn't usually, you know, directly help you to make money, but it's there to help you and your channel grow a lot, which then in turn helps you to make more money. And there are a lot of different types of collaboration. You can either partner up with a YouTuber in the normal way would be you make videos on each other's channel and then you drive traffic to your videos that way uh, but there are many different ways that you can do collaborations as well for me example i do collaborations with a, a site that gives me things for me to do giveaways on my channel so i partner up with them they provide me things to do giveaways on my channel and then i promote them on my channel for example and giveaways is one of the best way right now for me to grow my channel because it attracts a lot of attention from my audience, they will be more incentivized to subscribe to my channel and stick to my videos a lot more if I didn't really have any giveaways. You know, I'd say there are other things for you to do like merchandise sellings or, you know, uh, YouTube memberships. But those two things are probably going to be a little bit harder for you to start right now because you don't really have too much audience. That's really cool. Is there another step you'd recommend people to take after doing this? I'd say the next one would be to make the decision to finally go full time because it's, it's a huge step to very be committed to that decision is going to take you quite a lot of mental energy, I would say, or at least for me. When you do feel like it's the time for you to make the decision, you have to, you know, seriously make it, you know, stop the job and then go and focus full time onto your YouTube. Well, thanks so much for sharing, Tom. And for people who want to take like the exact journey that you actually took. Um, let's quickly talk about GYGC because if I'm not mistaken, you actually started your whole journey as a YouTuber about one year ago by signing up for my GYGC course, right? Correct. Yes. Where, where I first created my YouTube channel and wanted to do, you know, get into gaming. There was no course that would support in terms of gaming. You know, GYGC was very, very specific in terms of helping you setting up your channel from the very first process, from all of the things that you're required to do, for example, uh, thumbnails, video editings, and all that to make sure you're able to create a videos from start to finish, which is what I needed help on at the start of my journey. You know, JYGC was able to, to help me go through that. I'd say a lot easier than me if I were to like, you know, look into that everything for myself. So 
yeah, that was really, really valuable for me. And now answer this 100% honestly and for people watching this, like Tom's not getting any kickbacks for saying any of this. <laughs> of um, but how big of an impact do you think signing up for my course had on you actually achieving the success you've had so far? Whenever you get help, you're going to be able to like get to the to where you want a lot faster, which is why my channel is here where I am today, you know, especially due to JYGC. So it helped me a lot, I would say. Also, I should have mentioned this earlier, but for those who don't know, the four digit challenge is basically my step-by-step -step system to help gaming YouTubers reach their first 1000 loyal subscribers in just 90 days. So that you can get your channel to the point where your videos are regularly hitting thousands of views, you have a loyal community and you have the opportunity to maybe even go full time. Tom, you were a complete beginner when you first joined this course and you were also simultaneously working full time, but you still managed to learn and implement everything in the channel successfully. Is that right? Yes. Right. So never before actually have I seen anything that's helped me in such details. When you're doing it alone, you're not going to be able to have that accountability to such an extent. Awesome. And not only that, for those of you who do sign up for the 4 digit challenge, at the moment, I'm throwing in a bunch of bonuses that you can get completely for free. Firstly, there's the Grow Your Gaming Channel course. The GYGC course is designed to teach you all the technical skills, stuff like recording footage, editing videos, creating eye-catching thumbnails, so that you can become a better YouTuber. The other bonus you'll get is 12-month exclusive access to Grow Your Gaming Channel support, which is basically where you get access to a private Discord mastermind, as well as a secret email address that you can actually reach out to me and my team directly with and we will personally help you with any of your YouTube related questions. And last but not least, I'm throwing in one of my newest courses. It's called the Full-Time Creator Blueprint Masterclass. It's an in-depth video lecture where basically I lay out a rough roadmap of once you've hit the 1000 subscribers, how to go beyond that and turn your channel into a full-time stream of income. So when you join the four digit challenge, not only will you be getting access to all of the training, take action checklists and the awesome Discord server, but you'll also be getting the Grow Your Gaming Channel course, one year of GRG support and private discord server access and the full-time creator blueprint masterclass all of these bonuses completely for free so if this sounds like something you might be interested in click the link down below this video and you can join the challenge today but if you're wondering is it really worth it like what happens if you sign up and you don't reach a thousand subscribers well i stand behind my product so if you sign up you follow and actually implement everything that i tell you to implement uh, but for some reason you don't have a thousand subscribers within 90 days of participating i'll refund your entire investment so if that sounds fair click the link down below this video and sign up for the challenge i hope to see you in the four digit challenge very soon.